The Air Force Academy Athletic Department was recently given a unique opportunity to see what the sport of fencing is all about. And what better way to learn a sport than to actually take part in it. You watch something from outside, you don't have the feel of it. Once you put the mask, put the, the weapon and ready to fight, it's a completely different story. That's what several members of the department, including Director of Athletics Nathan Pine and Executive Director of Athletics Jen Block, learned on this special day. First, cadet athletes explained the three different weapons, and then everyone got to partake in fencing using the epi weapon. It's not just physical and it's not just mental, it's combined both together. So, funny comment uh, Mr. Pine said when I was talking to him and instruct him while he was fencing, he told me, Omar, this is harder than it looks. And uh, it's not only just, we're not doing just physical stuff. I was standing there and I saw somebody attacking me, running at me. And what do I need to do? I start thinking, should I parry? Should I run back? What should I do? And I start using my brain too. So that's a, the balance which our sport offers. These novice fencers all learned plenty about the sport, gaining an appreciation for what the cadet athletes were teaching them. And in turn, the athletes also learned by having to explain their sport in their own words. What they were doing is trying to repeat what we've been teaching. So it was a great experience for me too, to kind of reflect what I'm doing because I was seeing the fencers coach as I coach or coach as a foil coach, coach or as a saber coach. So it was very interesting to see the student becoming the masters as we call it. Yes, the day was dubbed, the students become the masters. And in the end, the leaders of the department went toe-to-toe -to -toe in battle. I haven't seen a lot of athletic director coming down and watching the practice, but I never seen an athletic director and executive athletic director put on a, a suit and fence and then fence each other. So I think that was very brave for most of them. First impressions, first time fencing, what'd you think? It's a lot harder than it looks. I, I have a newfound respect for our fencers and the work they put in. That was awesome. Is this your first time fencing? This is my absolute first time fencing. I've been to lots of mat matches and meets, but this is the first time to fence. So did it help you having watched more? I, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I just, but what helped was the great coaches and the teammates here that helped me get through it. Get great instruction. Didn't mean to brutalize your sport as badly as I did, but it was a lot of fun. What do you think about Coach for even putting on an event like this and you know other people in the athletic department learning fencing? Well, very cool. I think it's one of those things that you got to teach people what it's all about. they got to understand how difficult it is to really have an appreciation. And it'll certainly turn out more folks here for our next match. Coach El Jezri says he would love to plan more events like this in the future so even more people can learn his sport. And he's especially glad that he works in a place that embraced this event. I'm very happy to promote the sport. I'm very, very honored to work in this uh, organization, to work with those people and they coming down and support our sport and showing uh, support to individual sports, same and equally to team sport, that means a lot. So that pushed me to work harder every day and to live up to that trust and uh, support.